For 3.2 number 5, here is an example of the problem that is given. Find b and c so that y equals negative 14x squared plus bx plus c and has a vertex at 7, 7. Well, a couple of things that you know given this information. We know that if it has a vertex at 7, 7, that is an x, y value that will equal in your equation. So that would be 7 equal to negative 14 times 7 squared plus b times 7 plus c. So solving this out, we get 7 equal to negative 14 times 49 plus 7b plus c. Using our calculator, we get 7 equal to negative 686 plus 7b plus c. I'm going to add 686 over. So then this would yield me 693 is equal to 7b plus c. Now that's pretty good that I can at least get it down to that. I just have two variables, but I'm going to have to do something else in order to figure out what b and c are. So let's also think about what is a vertex because there's a reason that they told you vertex and didn't just say it contained the point. Well, you know that working with your quadratics, x equal to negative b over 2a is the h value of a vertex if given. So if we look at those values, we know that x is going to be equal to negative b. We don't know. We're trying to figure that out. 2 times a, which we know to be negative 14. And we already know what this is equal to, that this is equal to 7, which is given. So we can solve it, this out. 7 equals negative b over negative 28. So I'm going to multiply both sides times negative 28. Let's see, 28 times 7 would give me negative 196 equal to negative b. And then divide both sides by negative 1. So I've got b equal to 196. And so now I'm going to take that value and plug it in over here to get my c. So I have 693 equal to 7 times 196 plus c. I'm just going to use my calculator to help me finish this up. So 7 times 196 gives me a really large number, which is 1372 plus c. And then I'm going to subtract that over. So then c would be equal to 693 minus 1372. So negative 679. So two things you have to know in order to work this problem. One, you have to understand that this is an xy value and you can plug it into what's given. And then two, kind of the hidden part that you have to know is that when you're looking for a vertex, that the first value or x value of your vertex is x equals negative b over 2a. Putting those two pieces together, this helps you see that b was 196 excuse me, and C was negative 679. Hope this helps.